because you don't want your 12 year old walking around smelling like a 45 year old woman. Hey everybody, it's Becky. I'm back with a quick little video for you guys. I just wanted to share with you what we got our girls for Valentine's Day and then a little bit of the Valentine's decor around our home. We keep it pretty minimal, but I'm not gonna lie. As soon as we put the Christmas stuff in the attic, we bring the Valentine's Day stuff out and decorate for Valentine's Day. Now, we love Valentine's Day. I get so excited when you go into the stores and everything's like pink and purple and red, and I really love it. And so continuing on with the tradition that my parents started with us of getting us things for Valentine's Day, we do the same thing for our girls. We keep it really simple. We love our girls and we want them to have a happy Valentine's Day too and know that they are important to us. But I do keep it small, so this year, for my youngest daughter, she is six. She'll be seven by the time Valentine's Day comes. But she's really into like being fancy and wearing jewelry and fancy headbands and hair bows and things like that. And she likes, she wants earrings. She's afraid to get her ears pierced, but she's not allowed to get her ears pierced until she's nine anyway. That's kind of like my rule. Our oldest daughter was nine when she got hers pierced and I told her that if she wants to get her ears pierced when she's nine, she can. Right now she doesn't think she's gonna want to but she still loves earrings. And so, you know, you get those little sticky ones, they always fall off or they get stuck in their hair. So I wanted to try to find some nicer ones that maybe wouldn't be like as painful as a clip on, but then last longer than a sticky earring. So I got these from Amazon. I thought they were so pretty and the fact that they're pink little sparkly hearts is perfect. I know they're kind of dangly for a seven year old, but they're just for fun and for play. It's got like a little ball at the top and then it actually screws in the back if you can see that. So I thought that might be more comfortable for her than a clip on and the fact that they were pink faceted sparkly crystals I thought was perfect for Valentine's Day. They're really inexpensive and I think she's gonna like them and hopefully she will find them comfortable and want to wear them because they're really super cute and of course pink is her favorite color. My oldest daughter had requested maybe that she needs some more perfumes and body sprays and so I have to be really careful with her because she is only 12, almost 13, and I understand she wants to smell girly and pretty and feminine just like most women do, but you do have to keep it really light and airy and fresh and crisp because you don't want your 12 year old walking around smelling like a 45 year old woman. So I was trying to be really careful with first of all the ingredients, making sure that it didn't have any colorings in them and then also just the smell overall because I don't want to be offended by it if it's like too smelly or you know stinky I don't want to have to deal with the smell of it which is funny because growing up I used to wear the stinkiest perfumes ever does anybody remember exclamation it stank horribly and I loved it I wore it all the time I wore baby soft all the time which baby soft in itself is not a bad scent it's just really strong uh, but I used to wear those all the time and thought that I smelled so good. So I don't want that to happen to her. So this one I found, I thought it was really light and fresh. It is the Body Fantasies Pink Vanilla Kiss Fantasy. I found this one at Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm sure that it's not the best thing in the world to be spraying on yourself, but it does have alcohol, water, and fragrance. It does not say that it has any colorings or anything like that in it. So I thought as far as spray, sprays and fragrances go, it is nice that it does not have any colorings. And I think it smells pretty nice and youthful so I think she'll like that. So that is it. That's what we do for Valentine's. That's what we're doing for the girls for Valentine's Day this year. I may pick up a little box of chocolates for them or something and a card. I already got their cards actually at the Dollar Tree. And now I'm going to show you just around the kitchen some of our Valentine's Day decor. Like I said we don't go crazy um, but I like having little touches and I do typically keep it mostly in the kitchen. I don't like a lot of decor all over the house unless it's Christmas time. So I'm going to show you that right now. So on the kitchen table, I have these red heart placemats that I got at Kohl's, I believe, last year. And then the centerpiece is a red heart topiary my husband got me at Target probably five years ago. It was my Valentine's Day present then, and I use it every year for decor. Then going over to the island, I have these conversation heart placemats that I got at Kohl's about eight years ago. They're looking a little bit worn, so I might need to replace them soon, but I love them. And then I just put a centerpiece with a conversation heart like filler and then put a pink flameless candle on the inside of that. On the refrigerator, we just have these kitty and puppy little magnets um, that we found at the Dollar Tree this year, actually last week, I think. The girls like to put those on the refrigerator, so they, they did that themselves and arranged them the way they wanted them. And then over in this little corner, I just have another pink flameless candle with some red scattery heart thingies inside my little vase. I don't know what they're called. Um, and then this conversation heart little tree that I got, I think at Kohl's uh, about two years ago. 
And on the door, I just have this really pretty super sparkly sign I found at the Dollar Tree this year. I was so impressed that it only cost a dollar. I think it looks way more expensive than that. It's super cute and I love it. Yo, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how we decorated for Valentine's Day this year and then what gifts we got the girls for Valentine's Day. I love making every occasion special. My parents did that for me growing up and it really is, it, it's just one of the best, one of the best things about my childhood, not because of the gifts, but just because they made every occasion, they made every day special, but they also took the extra time to include us in other occasions that may ordinarily be for maybe just adults, like Valentine's Day. I think kids should be included in Valentine's Day too, even if it's just a box of chocolates or a card or something like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will leave the links for the products that I purchased them in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.